Hi there. Today we're going to go over how to set up um, all of your offers that show when members log into your site. Um, there are one-time offers or OTOs they're called. Uh, there are login offers and there are rotating offers. So let's go to um, OTOs. Remember that OTOs are just exactly what they're called, one-time offers. Um, sometimes we get confused and we just call all of our offers the same thing. Uh, you really don't want to do that. If it's a one-time offer, make sure it's only going to be seen once. Um, and that's what this particular page is for, that they see it once. Um, OTOs are set up in groups, so you could set up several different groups if you want um, to show it on different days after joining. Um, you can see that the first group is, is set up here automatically when you buy the script. The thing that you will need to do is to change the details of it. Um, but one is already set up for you to kind of give you an example to go by. And we'll preview that offer. So the first offer is this one. And you can see that the ad copy is already in there. But, um, you know, don't leave it like that because it probably you probably set up your membership levels differently and the prices. So you want to go through and you want to edit this page um, <clears throat> in your HTML editor and then copy it in here. Um, the one thing that's nice is that you can see that I'm using a test site, <clears throat> but the code for this actually in the HTML um, is the code for your site name. So if you leave that in there, that will show your site name. Uh, you'll probably want to um, clarify which upgrade you're giving. Um, you'll want to change the details of it. And this particular offer um, allows you to give the LFM Lite um, membership script if they buy this upgrade. Um, and it says it's normally priced at $97. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to add the $97 to your upgrade and put the total price here, what this would normally cost you for the entire package, your one-year upgrade and the LFM Lite. And then you're going to give a percentage off of this entire package, whatever it is you want. This one says 65%. Um, so 65%, you're going to put, put in the price here. Um, you're going to put it in again here. You just want to go through and you want to read if you're going to use this particular offer or you can set up your own. Um, I'm just kind of giving you an example. Always make sure that you leave an opt-out form, um, opt-out opt hyperlink. Um, this one, um, what you're going to see here is if they opt out of this, they're going to see the second offer. Um, so. The opt-out is, um, show you in LFMT, is show OTO.bip so that it goes to right there. You're going to do that um, for your opt-out. And that way it will show the second offer if they opt out of the first. And this one just says, you know, wow, I was really proud of that, but maybe you can't afford that right now, something like that. And you're going to drop the offer down. So in this case, they dropped it down to a three-month subscription. They dropped the special bonus of LFM Lite. Um, once again, you're going to want to tell them how much this normally costs. You're going to put in all the details, um, read through, change everything that you need to change. And then on this opt-out link, you're going to take them to your members.bip area um, so that they're taken right to their members home page. Okay, so we'll get rid of these offers. Now when you're setting up your first group or any group for that matter, um, days after joining means that how when do you want them to see it. So if you want to see it right away when they when they first sign up, um, you're going to leave this at zero. Uh, if, if you feel that members don't really you know want to know right away what you've got to offer because they want to get familiar with your site you can set it to like two or three days after joining whatever you want to do there um, show to all members um, or you can show it to free obviously you're probably not going to want to show it to upgraded 
and then you're going to click save on that or you can go back in later and click edit. Now you can set up another group. Um, <clears throat> see here it says add new group and you can um, so say you set this one up at the first day that they they sign up maybe you want to set this one at three days after sign up because maybe they're not going to opt in the first day and then the next time they will and if you click show to all, all new sign up members you're going to click add and then you can see that there is a second group here so you can do that again you can show um, first page and then you can show a second page with a lower offer um, and they'll see those you know in in order so <clears throat> once again you would just set that up there um, another nice detail about this is you can do split stats and split tests um, and you can you can check to see does, did group one do better than group two that kind of thing when you want to go back to the OTO page you just click manage groups um, the other thing that I want to show you is you need to make sure that you add the IPN offer um, from your sales page so you can see this one says IPN 3 um, when you're setting up your sales package here's the IPN 3 um, yearly upgrade for $69.70 and um, what are they what are they going to get with that um, you're going to need to put in your credit spanners text what accounts to show it to um, you know pick what level it's for so if you have gold you're going to pick your gold here um, the other thing that you need to do is for example this one is giving the uh, LFM light membership formula so you need to set up a custom page um, and add that right here now the thing to do with that is to go to the video that we've already set up for you custom pages um, with sales packages and take a look at that video to show you how to set that up then you're going to click that it's an OTO you also want to make sure that you um, select what period and this one was a one-year uh, subscription click OTO and click what payment processors you're using and click save so you always need to have a corresponding sales package set up for each OTO login offer or rotating offer so let's quickly go to uh, login offers um, these work somewhat similar what you're going to do is <clears throat> excuse me you're going to name the offer what it is you're going to give away um, put in your corresponding IPN uh, that you set up the sales package for you can determine which account you want to show it to um, you can pick the display fre frequency so if you want to show it once per member you want to show it every login daily weekly and so on um, you can do that minimum days means the minimum days that they get to see it after they've joined um, you'll have options once it's set up of pausing the offer resetting the offer or deleting the offer uh, put in your HTML code here and click update now you can see that one was set up you can always preview it after the fact um, and there again um, you can see ones put in here okay so say you want to uh, these are just login offers are not necessarily one-time offer that that way it gives you um, an option to show that same offer again you can just leave it right in here uh, maybe you don't want to show it now because you have um, you know a holiday offer coming up so you you can pause it um, and you can set up as many as you want here you can set up some just to show your upgraded members maybe you want to give them credit deals or something um, or credit deals with a package offer there's all kinds of variables that you can do for that one rotating offers um, so this is an offer that just automatically rotates throughout the script um, and 
so they'll see it when there's not another OTO or login offer available. Um, this particular offer um, is automatically in the script and um, it's for the instant squeeze page generator uh, and <clears throat> the way they have this set up is that they can see it hundred percent of the time now a quick note here if you're gonna if you're gonna do um, several different rotating offers you want to um, so say I'm gonna put in another one maybe for a click and go package or something that they're gonna get so you'd want to maybe change this 75% of the time and then uh, the click and go 25% of the time so you need to set this accordingly as to what percentage you want these to show if there is an IPN associated with it um, then you're going to put the IPN number in here um, and click update um, so <clears throat> keeping in mind that on any of these offers you can use their first name last name their username and always make sure if there is an IPN that you're going to put in this code right here in your HTML um, criteria for uh, it to show the the payment buttons so um, that's basically it for setting up your one-time offers login offers and rotating offers Hope that helped. Have a great day.